In this problem, again, we have a particle traveling along a straight line and its acceleration is given as a function of displacement, S. Now, if we know that at time equals to zero, the initial time, velocity is zero and um, S is one, we need to determine particle's velocity when S equals to four meter. So again, if you evaluate the situation, uh, even though we're given an initial time, the entire problem does not involve time. It only involves A, S, and V. Therefore, out of the three kinematic equations, again, V equals to dS dt, A equals to dV dt, and then A dS equals to V dV, we realize that we only need the third equation. So, because we have A expressed as a function of S, therefore, we have 1 minus 0.25S dS, that equals to V dV. As you can see, the variables have already been separated on the left-hand side. We only have expressions involving S. On the right-hand side, we only have V. Therefore, we can just integrate directly. On the left-hand side, we integrate from the initial condition. That is actually when s equals to 1, not 0, and uh, integrate to current s. On the right-hand side, when t equals to 0, the initial condition as a v is indeed 0, and integrate to current v. So the right-hand side simply becomes 1 half v squared again, because the initial velocity is zero. So on the left-hand side, we integrate this part, and that is S minus um, one-eighth S squared. And that is evaluated from one to S, which means that that's S minus one-eighth S squared minus 1 minus 1 eighth times 1 squared. Okay. And uh, that equals to 1 half V squared. So from here, from, from this, if you want to, you can also find a Vs function, a general Vs function that you can use to evaluate V, the velocity, at any given S. But in this case, because we are asked to evaluate the velocity at s equals to 4 meter, which is a specified situation, therefore we can just simply plug in s equals to 4 and do the evaluation. So when s equals to 4, we evaluate, um, so 1 half v squared equals to 1.125. From here we can solve for v, which is 1.5 meter per second. And that is the final answer of this problem.